Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video guide for Conan Exiles. Once again, I am in the Isle of Sipta and in this video, folks, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about taming thralls at the Lay Shrines. I'm going to show you how to kill thralls and basically how to farm the Lay Shrines uh, by yourself. So this is what I'm wearing. You saw the gear. I'm going to have a lot of snake arrows. We've got some explosive jars right here and then obviously the items needed to summon the surge that we're going to summon we're going to do a overpowered surge and i'm going to show you basically everything that you need so we're going to need the decaying Ilarian to create the uh, altar and then we're going to need the greater question marks to then uh summon the overpowered surge uh so yeah, the overpowered surge that we're going to be doing. And then, of course, I've got twice upon an arrow. I've got two of them. One of them is equipped with uh, the snake arrows, which you can get from the Altar of Set. Very good religion to have for the snake arrows. You can use anything else that puts on darts. The idea is you want to do it at a distance. And then one of them is equipped with the blunt arrows. Of course, you will need the bindings and, of course, a truncheon to knock out whatever you want to tame. If, of course, you want to do that. If you just want to kill them, then that's fine. There's plenty of good loot to have. But there's also a lot of good thralls, uh, tier 4 thralls to be more specific, that you can get. So, I'm not going to go into a lot of details on how to do the summoning. However, I'm going to show you what to do with the jars. Now, this is courtesy of Firespark81. He came up with this idea, so I don't uh, claim to... Uh, have developed it and this is potentially a temporary thing it may get fixed later on in the game but i'm going to show you it because it does work and so what you want to do is you want to place them at the top of the steps be careful not to touch them because otherwise they will explode so what this does is it breaks the path for the npcs and they won't know how to get around it now, it's funny because it allows you to place them down here in the Lay Shrine, which is a bit useful, but I think this may change later on. So we're going to focus on the Altar of the Centers, just because it's the first one. We're waiting for that one to craft. Whilst we're doing that, I'm making some room in my inventory, tidying things up, just so I have things organized. Once it's up, we're going to put in the greater question marks. I've shown you how to get these. They're not that difficult. Or how to summon the bosses that drop these. So I'll wait for these to fully be used up. You need a thousand of the swirling essence or whatever it's called. We'll wait for that to happen. Then that gives us a overpowered surge. We'll know it's there because the outside of the area that we have summoned the altar on will glow red. There's also a sound cue as well, because it will make a different noise. You will hear it in a bit. We just have to wait for it. Sometimes things take a bit of time. Now, this is one method you can do it. Bear in mind that this may potentially get patched or fixed later on. So I'll show you another way of doing it. Uh, we're just waiting for this to happen. I'm just making sure I'm prepared. So I've also got the corroding sword with me. You can use whatever weapon you prefer if you want to use daggers and do that. Makes no difference. I am a bit of a fan of the two-handed weapons in the game for some reason. I just like the combat animations for it. There we go. That's what we're after. We have summoned it. So now what you want to do is you want to kind of come out here and wait for the thralls to drop from... The surge. You hear the normal lightning, which opens up the portal, which is now above us, and then the thralls will fall. Now they won't do much of anything as long as I'm on the inside. When I step out here, they will aggro onto me, especially when I start hitting them. So right here, you can kind of test which ones which. So I'll fire an arrow. Of course, that guy's going to be a one skull boss. As you can see, they're trying to come to me, and you'll see them teleport back to the center quite often. That's because they realize, or the AI realizes, that the path is blocked, 
and diagros and spawns back at the center of or on the platform so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out the ones that i don't want to keep with the poison arrows i'm using the twice upon an arrow bow because it applies and uses two arrows so it's easier to dot them up well, i don't want to kill that one because i want to knock it out i'm going to show you how to do that as well now in case you don't want any of these thralls then i would probably focus on the archers first then on the melee fighters you can avoid them a lot easier by putting obstacles in your way than you can with the archers i say that because or i said it in that way because i'll show you a different method to do in this for when this or for when if this gets patched you know we don't know it might get patched it might not who knows but it is easy to do this it is soloable i'm just taking out the bosses at the moment so that is the main focus so this is method number one i'll do this all the way so you can see it it doesn't take a lot you can of course use the poison arrows which drops a cloud but then you can't really control what goes into the cloud i was trying to knock that guy out and so i personally prefer these snake arrows for that reason you have more control over what you dot try and keep the stack at 10 difficult to aim at them when they do move around so now left i've got the tier 4 named thralls that i want to tame this guy by the looks of it is a melee fighter and there's an archer somewhere around the corner firing arrows at me so i'll deal with that one first okay so he's moving around that way he's wanting to come in but his path is obviously blocked kind of difficult to see my head is in the way I'm not sure what I'm firing at, so I'm going to reposition. And what's nice about the twice upon an arrow is it just fires out two arrows. Of course, you go through them a lot quicker, but it does also knock them out quicker. I'm going to try and avoid some of these arrows. They don't do that much damage, but the less damage you take, the less you have to use your healing potions and wraps and stuff like that. Out of stamina, take some cover, do some healing. We don't need to heal up all the way. I mean, with the next method I'm going to show you, it does make it fairly easy. And that is specific to this lay shrine that I'm at. Not all of them have this perk. So this is probably where you'll want to be. I'll show you the location of the shrine at the end of the video. Same thing here. Get this guy's attention. Now this guy will teleport over and over again because he wants to get to me gets to this point realizes it can't so teleports back to the pad so what you want to do is you want to try and set off two arrows before it starts running towards you now i'm going to show you the next method so notice that i'm outside now if i were to have the npcs following me i would just jump down and run around the area I've knocked them out. There is, of course, a thrall I want to fight or knock out. I'll show you what I want to do. I'm going to run around the lay shrine right to this area. There's a bit of water. And if you go down the middle, you'll end up swimming, which means that the NPCs cannot get to you. They do struggle to find a path around the water to get to you most often. They can get to you, so do keep that in mind. Now, of course, there's an archer there. And, of course, there's also uh some bosses so we're gonna deal with this wonderful lady right here take her out as quick as possible try and ignore the archer because the archer doesn't do that much damage try and do some dodge in here now you can melee the creatures here so you can kind of funnel them in or you can of course just do them out of range with your bows and arrows so as you can see they cannot get to me they want to they know me be they know i'm here so you can just swim this way, get some space, dot them up, go back to swimming again. You can't get to you, so you can kind of clear out whatever you want to not fight. 
this way and then decide what you want to knock out. So I'm just going to wait for the stacks of poison to do its thing. And that clears them out. And so you can use this to funnel them in. Now, if you have multiple archers, you want to be careful and mindful where they are located. So notice that I'm going to use the brazer to put an obstacle between me and the archer as I kill the other bosses. Now, because the archer cannot get to me, it will randomly teleport from one location to another. So that means I constantly have to readjust my position with the brazier between me and the archer at all times. That means, of course, it cannot shoot me. And it also means that these guys right here cannot get to me. Now, with the other parts of the lace shrine, the other platforms, what I would do is just aggro them, then run around to the center of this particular platform, then just swim across. So as you can see, it causes them to not know what they're doing. Now, of course, they will end up teleporting, so you may have to constantly re-aggro them and bring them here. Now, let's assume I want to knock that particular archer right there out. Switch to my blunted arrows. Fire one or two in its direction. And then take cover. If it does lift its bow, I will just go behind the brazier. At the moment... Oh, there we go. So that's how you duck and dive when it comes to the arrows from the thralls you want to knock out if they are archers. There we go. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you the location in more detail on the map. So I'm going to teleport there again. This is the Light Shrine. You saw me do all this on. So this is it right here. You can see there's water on the mini map. You can locate it. It's easy to spot. All of the other Light Shrines that you can use. Uh, in this game to summon a surge do not have this thing going on for it So obviously the water will be your best friend in this scenario because the NPCs cannot get to you And even if they can get to you you can funnel them in and take them out one at a time It is fairly easy and you don't even need to block their path So it does actually work and uh, I don't really see how this will get patched or fixed unless they remove the water with that being said and done, that is pretty much it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides you on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Seftopia Discord. Links, of course, you can find down below in the video's description. And until next time, stay safe, folks.